Hey guys, what's going on? It's Overlord Tico here yet again, and I think this will be my last video for today because I think five videos in one day of one game is enough. And this video is actually going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to be showing you guys my whole exploration of the Water God's Altar. And the Water God's Altar is a mission, which actually is a mission I think that was one of those missions that are actually pretty important to the story as far as it comes like in completion purposes because whenever you do go in here, there are a lot of goodies that you can get, you know, so it's a mission that's highly recommended that you complete it and that you actually do it and you don't skip it because you get a lot of goodies and a lot of items in this mission. But uh, you can have to go ahead and, what do you call it? You got to go ahead and talk to Father Jeffrey after you talk to Maximilian and Maximilian is the guy that gives you the quest and you got to talk to Father Jeffrey and he tells you that the party, there's a research party going to the Water Goss Altar um, to pretty much, you know, explore the place and see what's going on there. And they say that they need some backup because so far they haven't like checked in. So, anyways, you go talk to this priest that's standing right in front of the water goss altar, which is right, which is right behind the, which is right next to pretty much that little small waterfall. And he tells you one of their people is stuck inside, and you gotta go inside and rescue him, and see how he's doing. So you go in there and you go to rescue him, and, uh, and while rescuing him, you gotta pretty much explore this whole water goss altar. And it's called the water goss altar, and uh, it's, it's a very good name for it because the whole place is pretty, pretty much like flooded with water and. Uh, when you first go in there, if this is not part of the mission, you really can't move forward. That you really, there's nothing new you can do. Like you, the, what I'm trying to say is, like until you get this mission officially a mission, there's really no point in trying to go in here, because there you, there'll be a lot of places you won't be able to explore because you won't be able to uh, drain the water that's flowing the the bottom floor, because the bottom floor is the main part where you gotta go to. So you gotta go ahead and go in here, and this door that you guys see right here that I'm showing you guys. This door you actually can't go through. You actually gotta get a, you actually gotta get a pebble. It's like a pebble or, or gem that you actually put in there, and you actually use it to pretty much progress forward to that door. So, anyways, I go on my left right here, and on my left there's actually like a small pack of lysorians in there. And I mentioned before that the saurians are those big reptile things that can use optical camouflage to appear as if they were invisible. And I go in there to, my, to the left side and uh, I fight like a whole group of them. Like whenever you do fight them, they give you like, a lot of money. They're actually guarding like a small area in this water god's altar that carries a whole lot of treasure. So I highly recommend going in this small area right here and pretty much just tearing up the competition. You got to tear these people up because they give you a lot of goodies. And uh, I don't really like those bats. Those bats are pretty annoying because you didn't kill them. They keep poking at you. But anyways, you kill all those Saurians, and those Saurians gives you like a lot, a lot, a lot of gold. So I highly recommend killing all of them and getting all the gold because it's it's worth it. I think right now, from all the gold I've acquired in, in a whole lot of quests, including this one, I got over 400,000 gold saved up. And I have nothing to use it on because I'm actually trying to wait to upgrade uh, the, the shop, the weapon shop, so I can buy stronger weapons. And the weapons I should be able to buy should be cost around 50,000 in money, you know, so just saving that money, and this is one of those places where you can get a lot of money and just killing a whole lot of swords. But, anyways, you know, I really pretty much want to talk about um, other parts of this quest that pretty much after you finish killing all these swords, you got to go back up top. And I will actually show it where I'm actually looking around and actually show it where I pull down the lever. And actually, a lever that pull, puts down a bridge that you can actually cross across the bridge to like over the water because the water is like blocking your way in a small area up there. We saw the water was blocking your way, and it was like a an edge all the way on the other end. You pulls down that small bridge, and you cross that bridge, and you end up in an area where you gotta fight a giant, a, a big cyclops. And uh, when you fight the cyclops, I would, I would actually, I'm actually telling you now, when you fight the cyclops, I highly recommend that you actually get as close to him as possible and make him chase you. And the thing is, there's actually there's actually like a small gate whenever you go inside to fight the cyclops. And what you do is you get as close as possible that you can to the cyclops. And then have them chase you. Have them chase you until you reach the gate to which you came out, in which you reach a big entrance, through which you came into that area where the cyclops was at, where the pretty much the feeding ground for the cyclops was at, because this is a place where they sacrifice people for the cyclops to kill and eat, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, you pretty much go inside of there, have the cyclops follow you, and go back through the big opening area where you came in through, and the cyclops is gonna get stuck inside that inside that big gate because he can't go through it. He's too big. So anyway, the Cyclops is going to keep reaching at you, he's trying to kill you and stuff, and what, all you got to do is just keep shooting at him. Since he can't get to you, but you can keep shooting at him, you know, and you're pretty much going to win. It doesn't matter how high a level you might be in this area, at least to kill the Cyclops, 
just because as as long as you lure the Cyclops to that small opening where he can't get through, he's trying to reach you and he doesn't keep backing up. Because as long as you don't move far away, he's going to stay there trying to reach you and not trying to go anywhere else. So as, as long as you stay there just staring at his face and you know just looking at him, you're staring at his face, just looking at him and him trying to reach you, you know, just go ahead and just keep swinging at his face and shooting at him with arrows in the face if that's what you're doing. Like right here I was actually experimenting around seeing if I could drop that down but just by shooting at it. But anyways, you just gotta pull the lever on the left side right there. Like pretty much, you know, Cyclops is just right there. He keeps trying to swing at you, and he can't hit you. So you just keep hitting him with the, uh, just keep hitting him with the arrows, keep hitting him with magic, while he's trying to reach at you. And eventually, you're gonna kill him. I mean, there's there's like no way to miss. There's no way to miss killing him because you know he's just he's just a Cyclops. He's he's dumb, you know, and he's not gonna be able to kill you at all as long as you stay with on, on the outside of the opening. But anyways, once you kill the Cyclops, you pick up some goodies and you pick up some stuff from the Cyclops that the Cyclops drops. And when he drops, he actually drops a little, the little gem that you're supposed to use in that gate that was locked. And you put it in there, and you can actually go in there and explore the bottom. And pretty much as soon as you go in there and explore the bottom, there'll be a switch that the switch actually is the one that is a switch that drains the water. So you go in there and you drain the water by put by pressing on that switch. And uh, you know, once that happens. The water from the from below level, the level down below, was gonna be drained, and um, pretty much you can just move forward and keep go keep going up ahead and you know finish up the rest of the place. Now, as soon as you finish up the rest of the place and finish exploring everything, you'll have, you'll pretty much make like a big turnaround, a big circle, and you'll end up back in the altar in the sacrifice place where the Cyclops was at, where you fought the Cyclops, and you're gonna find the body of the guy you were supposed to search for and you were you were supposed to rescue that is kind of dead. So. And along the way, you're going to be picking up these big stones that are really heavy. That you guys will actually be able to see these stones that I pick up. I exactly don't remember the name, but they're like big green stones. And they increase your weight on your character like a whole lot. Like I was carrying like four and my character was all the way maxed out on weight. So I had to take them, some of them off and give them to one of my pawns. So that way I could actually move freely again. So these like five big stones you get... You gotta get those five stones and give them to the guy that's waiting outside, waiting for the news on what, on if you found the guy or not. So you just go back outside, tell the guy that the guy's dead, and then you talk to him again and give him those uh, stones. And he's like, oh, okay, so you finally found this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And that's pretty much completes the quest right there. And then you're gonna have to get back to the castle and talk to Maximilian and tell him that the guy died and you couldn't rescue him. And that's pretty much gonna finish the mission right there. But anyways, just keep watching the video and keep seeing my exploration throughout this whole castle, fighting all the monsters along the way, uncovering all the secrets, getting all the treasure chests, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this video, and this will be the last uh, Dragon's Dogma video for today. I'm bringing you guys more tomorrow. I got a whole lot of footage to record it, and a whole lot of to talk through, and a whole lot to, you know, just record. Still, I'm going to keep playing this game. This game is pretty awesome. Just steal my life away. That's all it's doing, stealing my life away. But anyways, guys, the host of Blue Retico is out, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on which time you're watching this video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. on the floor. I'm on my way. I'll go at once. Who's this?
Don't overdo it. This looks interesting.
Strength in numbers. It seems isn't. we've won. I'm on my way. interesting. Hmm, what's that?
on my way. Not to drain the horse. I feel familiar with this area now.
Yes, right away. I'll go at once. Very well. Right, Master? Yes, right away.
Remains. This way! You best report this. Survey these ruins in his stead, or is that he may know some small comfort in seeing his work here. Sites such as these often house engraved slates and other ancient texts. Some have held revelations of vast importance. Oft times. As the slate is joined together, the text becomes clear. I will not rest until its meaning is deciphered, sir. For the sake of Brother Jean, the faith will see it done. In that, you may believe. You have my thanks, Arisen. I shall break the sad news of Brother Jean's sacrifice to Father Geoffrey myself. It was no fault of yours, sir. You've done your duty by us well, as the Father shall hear. Pray, do not let it weigh upon your heart. Go and tell Sir Maximilian of our success. familiar with his quest now. You have my thanks, sir. Terrible. The faith, as all humankind, are victims in the madness wrought by the dragon's coming. That fear of the worm should drive a man to die in pursuit of old stones. <clears throat> I forget myself. At day's end, the Duke has gained more of the knowledge he so ardently seeks. Tis a victory. 